For this next story, we urge you at home to watch your step, but not for the reason you may think. Just below you may a work of art. We take to the streets of Elmwood Village to learn more about a new phenomenon in Buffalo. We love our local art here on Daytime Buffalo. From the murals and sculptures to traditional street art, the city is as colorful as ever. But a new artist has popped up and is leaving their mark right under your nose, or rather, under your toes. We're here in the Elmwood Village area on Elmwood Avenue, where all of the Buffalo Pothole Bandits work has been seen. We're talking to the community, trying to figure out how they feel. I think it's amazing that they're coming out and like filling them and making these beautiful artworks around the sidewalks and everything. It's amazing to look at, so I think it's great. Like, I think that it's a really nice, creative, and kind of kind way of saying there might be some issues here to be addressed. Before somebody falls and breaks their ankle, why not, you know, have it nice and it's beautiful, it's artwork. Almost everybody that walks by it stops and really spends some time looking at it and they do really fun and sometimes meaningful wording. This one's a fun one saying, don't eat people. They use whatever they have. I see mirrors here, some tiles, and of course, <laughs> the dinosaur. We were able to get in contact with the Buffalo Pothole Bandit, and while they declined a recorded interview, they did let us in on the origin story, which goes back over a year. They tell us that while crossing a Buffalo street, they had first-hand experience with tripping in a pothole and a nearly broken ankle. They went back to fill it themselves and added the Scrabble letters and tiles just for fun. Whether it's artistic activism. I mean, if the city doesn't want to do it. Or simply just for fun. I wish there were more. The works of the Pothole Bandit has more people paying attention to what's right at their feet. So the mystery of the Buffalo Pothole Bandit continues. A simple accident becomes a visual urban legend in the Buffalo art community.